to begin, click OK. Now go to Start a new drawing file, click, select three dimensional, selecting a basic object, select construction box and this is the view that will appear. I am now going to begin to click on some of these gridded squares over here. Note that a cube appears in the corresponding position on this 5x5 five five mat which corresponds to this 5x5 five five grid. If I continue to click in different positions cubes appear. If I click more than once that many cubes will appear in that position. I have completed the figure. Can you create the figure? Uh oh, I realize that I have too many blocks in one of my positions. So here, this position over here, I need to remove one of them. So I go to the corresponding square on the grid and I right click to remove that particular cube. Can you cre recreate this figure? I'm going to hide the show buttons view so that you can try to do this on your own. I'm now going to click on control view line. This brings in this axial extension and when I click on one of the arrows it allows me to rotate the figure and show different viewpoints. I'm also going to click on show front, side and top views and notice different view diagrams appear on the left. At this point I have rotated the figure to show the top view and I think you can see that what is beginning to appear is just the top of the cubes which were in blue and that is big that resembles the top view figure over here. If I again click on control view line it will take the figure back to its original configuration and I can go ahead and show possibly the front view which now corresponds to the front. Go ahead and try clicking on these different arrows to see if you can show the right side view which is shown over here in yellow. Can you also show the underside and the left side and possibly even the rear? You may wish to click on show buttons top view which will bring back the grid that we used to create the figure. And note that if we ignore all the zeros, the squares occupied by numbers are also those occupied by the blue blocks which are the top view. I am now going to create two new figures and I'm going to hide the show buttons top view and see whether you can recreate this yourself and I would like you to copy the whole figure into a Word document which I will show you how to do in just a moment. Can you create the figure that I have just built on my construction box? If you can, I would like you to copy this to a Word document. To do so, you click on this button over here, which the mouse over shows, says copy drawing to clip clipboard. As soon as you do that, it says copying over here, and then you can open a Word document, and when you hit paste, this figure will appear. For an additional challenge, I've created a figure with which I have clicked on Control Perspective and that's how this particular perspective showed up. You can rotate this figure using the axial arrows or the mouse as well. Can you create this figure? Please do so and copy and paste it into your Word document so that I can check your work. When you are done with this, I would like you to create three new figures each containing exactly 24 cubes. One of your figures should be completely asymmetrical. 
one should contain exactly one plane of symmetry and one should contain exactly three planes of symmetry. Please copy and paste two different views of each figure into your Word document before you submit it to me for grading.